In this brief video, I'll be showing you the structure of the laboratory report document. Later in the week, you'll be producing your first laboratory report. To do that laboratory, you will need to have a bar of rectangular soap and a ruler with which to measure. You'll need a knife to cut the soap as well. And what you'll be working to produce is a laboratory report that will be submitted from within Schoology. And I, my goal here is just to share with you the structure of that report to get you ready for what will be coming on Thursday. Thursday's uh, video will be a little longer because it covers both how to do the laboratory and the write-up. But this is the basic structure of a laboratory report, in this case the structure of the first lab. Lab reports will have a heading level 1 at the top that will be the... Uh, uh, you can see that's a heading level one up there that will tell you the title of it. The first section of the lab will be an introduction. Those are done at heading level two. And then the equipment list, which is another heading level two. These will be covered in detail during the longer video on Thursday. But I wanted you to see these uh, sections of the report, the procedure which tells the reader how the lab was done or how to do the lab if they want to do it again. There'll be a table of data, there'll be a graph of the data, and a Desmos analysis. Those three sections will be done by screen capturing from either a laptop, desktop, or your smartphone. In the video on Thursday, uh, screen captures from a smartphone are used. That part of the lab will require that you know how to do screen captures on your desktop, laptop, or smartphone. My suggestion would be to look up how to do a screen capture for your particular device using Google. Every device has a different way they do it. Laptops often have keyboard commands. Mac, Mac computers have a keyboard shortcut. Chromebooks have a keyboard shortcut. Windows use a tool called the snipping tool. And smartphones often use combinations of keys or, or touches uh, on the screen to activate screen capture. So you'll have to look that up from Google for your particular device. That will be the easiest way to get the table of data, the graph, and the Desmos analysis across from Desmos. And the lab reports will wrap up with a discussion and a conclusion. So that will be the structure of the lab reports later this week, just to get you ready for that when it comes up on Thursday.